Hello everyone, this is Dak13, and in this video I will be doing a quick walkthrough of the new application that was just released from Microsoft for your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad called My Xbox Live. So let's get right on into this. Okay, so if you would like to get this application on your iDevice, you can simply open up the App Store and you want to do a search for My Xbox Live and you should see it right there on the screen now. Um, as you guys can see, it's from the Microsoft Corporation and currently it is free to download. So if you do have an Xbox, I would highly recommend getting this for your device because it is a very, very cool application. So this is basically what it looks like when you're um, about to download. It gives you a quick description, gives you some pictures as you guys can see. From the first day that's came out, it's already four and a half stars, so that's pretty cool. So I'm just gonna simply download it, and since it's a very small application, it shouldn't take too long. Um, but the first thing you get when you open it is this page, and you can simply press, press sign in, and it will ask you to enter in your email address and your password, so I'm gonna do that there. And after you have done that, it will simply load and it will retrieve the data from your Xbox Live account. And so here's the application. You got three pages. The first one is called Home. And this is basically the spotlight page, just like on your regular Xbox. So on this page, you can scroll through all the videos that are normally on the home page of your Xbox, and you can watch all of them. They're like trailers, you know, just some other cool videos that Microsoft puts up. And you also have a refresh refresh button at the bottom. And then if you scroll to the page to the right, you got a social one. And this one shows your gamer tag, your first name, your gamer score. It gives you your avatar right there, which is really cool. You also got three buttons on the right. One is your friends, one is your messages, and one is your beacons. And you can, you got three uh, buttons on the bottom. The first one that I just pressed is where you can change your account information. Uh, you can also change your avatar within the application, which I think is really, really cool. Um, as you guys can see right there, but I'm not going to do it right now. Um, you also got another button uh, in the same spot for refreshing this page. Um, so I'm just going to scroll over to the right one more time, and now you got the last page was the games page. And this shows you all the games you've played on your Xbox. I know I haven't played that much. I normally play one game and I stick to it. I mainly play online, so I don't have too much gamer score for each game, but if you select on one of the games, as you guys can see, I just selected on Modern Warfare 2, it shows your amount of gamer score and also all the achievements you unlocked. And as you guys can see, that is really, really cool. So then you got two buttons in the upper right hand corner. One is for your settings and you can sign out or you can do privacy settings uh, for your Xbox Live account. And as you guys can see, you got a whole bunch of settings there. And I really like this application because it runs a lot like Windows Phone 7 and it looks really nice on an iOS device. So then you also have a button for your messages and now this shows you all the messages you have and it's really cool because within each message it shows whoever sent you the message uh, it shows their avatar uh, which is really really cool um, some of the messages you can't view I believe because they're like a voice message but as you guys can see there's was the avatar that popped up uh, so I'll just go into another message and as you guys can see right there you can view regular text messages um, well messages containing just text um, so overall, I really, really like this application. It's a must have if you have an Xbox and an iPhone, iPod Touch, or an iPad. Um, and as you guys can see, you can also delete your messages. Uh, I wish there were some more features like the Windows Phone 7 version has. Uh, not only did they release this app for the iDevices, but they also did for the Windows Phone 7. And those ones have a feature to actually control your Xbox. So unfortunately, this app doesn't have that yet. But yeah, so that's the My Xbox Live application and I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please like the video by clicking the like button, leave a comment down below, and subscribe. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my second channel, Other to Hacker 13, my gaming channel, Spirals Gaming, and also follow me on Twitter. Those three links will be in the description down below. Please click the annotation on the screen now to watch my previous video if you haven't already. Once again guys, thanks for watching the video, and see you all later.